Now in this question then, we're given the points A and B lie on the line L. A has coordinates minus 6, 4 and B has the coordinates 8, minus 3 and we've got to find the equation of the line L in this format AX plus BY plus C equals naught where A, B and C are integers. What you'll notice I've done is I've drawn a sketch of what we were told. I always believe in drawing sketches so that I can tell whether my answer feels right. So, let's get started. Well, if we've got to find the equation of a straight line, I always like to use this form. y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. This is the form of any straight line where x1, y1 is a known point on the line and m is the gradient. So in order to start this problem off I've got to work out the gradient of this line L. The gradient is m and m is always calculated as the difference in y coordinates. Let's just put this down, the difference in the y coordinates right, divided by the difference in the x coordinates. So we start off with finding the gradient then. So what I'll say is the gradient of L, give a little introduction, make it hopefully easier for the people reading it to follow what we're doing. So gradient of L, difference in the y coordinates. So if we take this y coordinate here, 4, and then we've got this y coordinate here, minus 3, we can say it's 4 minus minus 3. Then it's divided by, because we started with this y coordinate, we must start with this x coordinate here. So we do the difference between the x coordinates. Minus 6, then minus, we look down here and we've got 8. And simplifying this, we would have 4 minus minus 3, which is 7, divided by minus 6 minus 8, which is minus 14. And if we simplify that, it comes to minus one half. I'm often asked when you're finding gradient, do I have to do it, start with this y value? No, you don't. You could start with this y value. You could do minus three, minus four, and then as long as you follow it with divided by eight, minus, minus six, you will get exactly the same answer, minus a half. If you're not sure, just try it, okay? And you should find that you get that answer minus a half. Okay, now we're in a position to start to work on finding the equation of a line. So we can say, let's just come down through here, we'll put a line down there. We can say that the equation of L, okay, is, now we would have y minus y1. The y1 and x1 are points on the line and we're lucky in this question we've got two points either A or B and it doesn't matter which one we uh, take. Suppose I take the point A okay so we've got y minus y1 that's that 4 there equals the gradient m which is minus a half multiplied by x minus x1 and x1 is minus 6. Now even if you had used this point instead of this one you will eventually end up, providing you're not making any mistakes further down through the working, you should end up with the same answer that I will get here and I would urge you to give that a try. Okay, so all we need to do now is just simplify this and get this into this format up here. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 2. So I would get, therefore, 2y. Then the minus 4 times 2 is going to be minus 8 equals. And here I'm just going to be left with minus 1, if I multiply this by 2, times x plus 6. So we've got minus 1 times x is minus x and then we've got minus 1 times the plus 6 is going to be minus 6. 
Now, to get in this format, the AX term is best kept as a positive term, so I'm going to add X to both sides, so therefore we have plus X, followed by plus 2Y, and then if I add 6 to both sides, minus 8 plus 6 is going to be minus 2, and that will equal 0. So, we have this in the form AX plus BY plus C equals naught, where A, B and C are integers. A, remember, would be a 1 here. And that brings us to the end of this part of the question.